Good morning, everybody. Uh, if you are joining me this morning, good morning. I'm really excited about planning for the week ahead with you. And I would love to know what you're excited about this morning. So please give me your reactions in the comments if you are watching. Give me a like or a heart or whatever suits you. And then also in the comments, again, let me know what you're excited about because I want to know what are you excited about this morning. And we're going to get started in a second here. I have had some people that told me uh, that they were going to be in, but they might not be able to join like right at our start time, which is totally fine. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen too with you so we can follow our template that we follow every time. And then this is also part of the materials that you receive when you are on uh, my, my list. So make sure that you get on the list. All right, let's get started because I really want to be respectful of your time. I'm very glad that you are watching. I would also like to know too in the comments, where are you watching from? If you can drop that in the comments, that would be great as well. Okay, so I am sharing the template. This is my seven steps to getting results. And we really need to get present to this planning session for the next 60 minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to get started with our warm up, which is to create mental white space. I'm sure you may have a lot of things on your mind right now, and we need to clear our mind. And this is what I like to do to clear my mind. And I encourage you to do this even for meetings, too. Often people come to meetings with all of their devices, their cell phones, their laptop. They're trying to do work while they're in the meeting. Is that really productive? I don't think so. In fact, you, you just need to get rid of all the distractions and be really focused. So that's what we're going to do to get started here in the next five minutes. I'm going to set the timer and I will actually try to play some music too. So, you, you know, if someone joins the call at the last minute, uh, or late, they know that we are doing our working session for the next five minutes. So again, uh, create mental white space. You will need a blank sheet of paper, or you could also just open up a Word document or anything. But just any of the thoughts that are on your mind right now that are weighing you down or just you have them on your mind, get them off your mind. Our minds are really best for creativity not the best for storage. In fact, I know when I'm trying to store too many things in my mind, I start to get a headache. So get those things off of your mind and put them down on a sheet of paper. I'm going to go ahead and set the timer for five minutes starting now to create mental white space.
Less than a minute left. Okay, that is our timer. I'm going to share, reshare our, um, the whole agenda that we follow in our planning. And there we go. So I'll take you back to this. Again, don't forget to drop in the comments where you are watching this from, because I definitely, I'd love to see uh, where where you're watching from. Okay, we are right here. And again, just sharing that with you so you can see it. Okay, so the next thing is email. Our email box can be really very cluttered, but email gets a bad rap. We we really, uh, we shouldn't give it such a bad rap because it's a great tool. It helps us in connecting with other people. It's very helpful and we just need to make sure that we're, we're managing it properly. That's really important. Uh, so for this next step, we're going to jump into our inbox and clean it up. Just take to five minutes to do that. And there's a, a variety of things that you can do in that five minutes you can delete emails that you don't need anymore. That really can cause a lot of clutter. You can also unsubscribe to emails that you're on that you don't need anymore. If you are currently working on a job search, there might be some emails that you're procrastinating about and you need to just use the five minutes to send that email and that way you're gonna be able to cross it off your list. And uh, or maybe you can schedule a time to make a new connection. So you get to choose what you're going to do in that five minutes. And oh, I also need to stop the uh, scroll there because we're moving on to the next step already. So I'm going to go ahead and set the timer for five minutes and I'll put our uh, work music on again as well, starting now. Clean up your inbox. Thank you. 
people with ADHD save 10 hours studying with this Chrome extension. But no, by all means, go ahead. Thirty seconds left to wrap up. The timer is going off <clears throat> and I need to turn it off. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna stop my screen share here so we can move on to the next phase. All right, and then I'll share the template again with you so you can see it once more. Okay, so now what the next phase, oh, and by the way, Hi, Ron in Chicago. I did see that you're in, so that's great. I'm so glad that you're watching. Good to good to see you. Uh, also, um, and other people, don't forget. Let me know where you're watching from as well, because I wanna I wanna know that you're that you are watching. Okay, so uh, the next phase that we're moving to, or the next step, is really like the heart and soul, I would say, of this planning session, and uh, because it's just, we need to make sure that we're doing this on a regular basis. And what it is, it's like outlining, what do you want to, what is it that you need to focus on in the coming week? Uh, so it's the step here that is activate to set your needle moving weekly goals and also plan what your daily goals are too, if we have time, because we're gonna have five minutes to do this as well. Okay, and then um, I'm just gonna be setting the timer. So this is why people struggle with this because I think we get so stuck on getting the results that we need. And it's really more about the journey and taking progressive steps toward that. So just how do you eat an elephant? One small bite at a time for that big goal, and you should have big goals. You shouldn't have boring goals because then you're not gonna be motivated. Um, what are 
what's that big goal and what can you work on toward it this week? What are those things? And you shouldn't have any more than three to five weekly goals because if you have too many, then you're not going to, you're just going to be spinning and you're not going to be productive. You're not going to be focusing your time in the right direction. If you have too few goals, um, then that's not very motivating either. So again, I would recommend three to five goals to focus on. So again, in the next five minutes, we're going to be outlining, write down what your goals are for this week. And then if you have some extra time, start to think about what days you're going to be working on. And as part of the materials too, I do have this daily planner. It's just a blank worksheet that you can actually plot out what you're going to do on which day of the week. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set the timer. I'll put the work music back on in a second. But I want to get you started in the next five minutes to establish what your weekly goals are. If you have questions or you're not sure, put it in the comments and I can try to help you during this next five minutes if possible. Go.
We have a minute left. There's that timer again. All right. Onward. Keep on moving here. Okay. Now, this next step, many people struggle with as well. You feel really uncomfortable with it. How do you feel when you hear the word networking? Does it strike fear in your heart? Are you like really uncomfortable? Are you happy about it? I, instead of saying networking, I like to say connecting because that's what it really is, number one. And then when I hear that, I'm not as, networking to me is, is definitely more of a negative connotation. That's what we're gonna do next is we're going to be very purposeful about our connecting work because it doesn't matter if you're doing a job search or you're working on a project for your current job, you need to connect with other people. That's how you're going to be successful in getting your desired result. You have to do, you have to connect with others. That's how we help each other. Let me share my screen too. I just realized I didn't do that because I need to take us back to the template so you can see it. All right, so getting back to our planner here. All right, so this, you should be able to see this. And then I will share during the break, I will, or the next five minutes that we have to, to work on this step. And it, again, it's the connecting it for, so for five minutes, we're gonna schedule the conversations that we need to have this week. Or, you know, maybe, maybe you have to book something out for next week, that's totally fine. But you have to use your calendar as the valuable tool that it is and schedule those conversations. It's really important to do that and to block out the time. If you don't know who you're going to talk to right now, have a designated time then. What days, what's that window? Maybe you have an hour window every day at the same time when you are having conversations with people to help you on your project or your job search. But you need to use your calendar to help you and to make progress. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the next five minutes to schedule those conversations. Oops, my screen is acting goofy um, to do that. Um, so anyway, I don't think you're seeing this, but anyway, okay. so. We'll do that. I'll set the timer for five minutes and then um, I'll change the ticker and all that in that way. And I'll put on the hold music for us as well. Okay, so give yourself, I'm setting the timer for five minutes. What are those conversations? Schedule, put those conversations in your calendar right now.
less than two minutes long. There's the timer again. We have to keep on moving. All right, and then I wanted to make sure that I shared uh, my tip sheet to help you make networking or connecting with others fun because it is fun. I like it and you can like it too. You need to make a game out of it. That's where the, where the key is. I'm sharing the tip sheet now with you. So you will get this again, as long as you're on my list uh, to get the materials from today's planning session. You also get the recording um, because you can use the recording anytime you feel like you need to, you need a planning session, uh, which you should do at a bare minimum once a week, of course, since we're doing that right now. But this, you're making a game out of it and you're giving yourself points. You need to make sure that you're, you're doing a certain number of actions in connecting with other people. Because if you're not, then you're, you're just not giving it the time that it needs. And you, you have to do that in order to be successful. And again, this is for everyone, all professionals. It doesn't matter if you're in job search mode, you should always be connecting with others on a regular basis. It doesn't take a lot of time it can be a small chunk of your time, like 15 minutes on a daily basis or even every other day, but something you need to make sure that you do it. It's that important. I can't stress it enough. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing this so I can get back to, oh, and I have to turn the ticker off. Okay, so we're going to get back to our planning that we're doing. We're gonna have a little bit more time uh, for this next step, because this does need a little bit more time to do this. And what it is, I'm going to scroll down because I'm sharing my screen now with you. Okay, so I actually, I have listed here to spend 25 minutes doing this because I, I feel like you need almost like half an hour to really give this the attention it deserves. We're only going to take 10 minutes because I want to keep this to 60 minutes. But you need to look at your documents. It's your documents that are your work or your job search. Those are typically fluid documents that need to be updated. They're living documents. And you need to make sure that you're taking the time out to review them and update them. We can even talk about what we just finished, connecting and networking with people. When was the last time you looked at your LinkedIn profile and you updated it? That is critical that you add things to it or maybe you wanna take some things out of it and edit it, that's fine. But 
you could use this time now to do that. Or um, your other project documents, maybe you wanna just really look at them and make sure that you don't have any typos or maybe your resume or cover letter template if you are doing a job search. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes right now. <clears throat> Go, and then I'll put the work session music back on.
Four minutes left. You have two minutes left to wrap. There is that timer. All right, we're making progress. We don't have too many. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I'm going to have too many things playing in my ears here. <laughs> okay. Oops, okay. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take you back to our whole structure here that we follow because we only have a few more steps that are left and then we'll be done with our planning session. Okay, here we go. This is, so we have two more things left. 
And then, of course, please put any questions that you have in the comments for me, uh, because again, I want to make sure that I answer any questions that you might have. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to thank those who have helped us in our journey so far. Again, if you're doing a job search, you want to use this next five minutes to thank the people that have helped you so far. Or if you're not doing a job search, the project that you're working on right now, who has helped you with that? I'll set the timer for five minutes. And then again, don't forget to put your questions in the comments if you do have any questions. And then I just want to thank you for being here as well. I'm really um, very moved that you decided to take time out of your schedule to plan with me and to be here and to watch. So I'll set the timer for five minutes right now.
minute left to wrap up. Almost done. The timer is telling us we just have one more piece to do. And this is to stand out from other professionals. Whatever we can do to stand out from other people is a good thing. Job search mode or not, it doesn't matter. You want to show who you are. And a great way of doing that is to send a handwritten thank you note to somebody, whoever, maybe someone who helped you with your project or someone who has helped you with your job search. But we're gonna take five minutes to do that right now. I will set the timer for that and put the work music back on in a second.
less than two minutes left to wrap. So let's say you have to read an incredibly long email from your boss that you have to finish before. You have a little less than a minute to wrap up, so I'll give you that time. All right, I did put the link. Oops, I do need to turn that off too. That would be good. I put the link in the comments to my feedback form because I would really appreciate your feedback. And then I also too just now, I put the link in to get some one-on-one -on -one attention because there's different components of this that you may need that one-on-one -on -one help with. And I'm here to help you with that and to deliver value and to be of service. It's 11 o'clock, so we need to end this, but uh, I hope you have a great week and then don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions or need help with something. My voice was not the best, so thanks for your patience with that as well. And uh, again, have a great week and I will see you next week already. So because again, September is uh, coming to an end. Take care. Bye.